Hello everybody, welcome to the second term of this academic year and uh, in this part we are going to start studying essay writing for second A, B and C in production de textos and also in language 2. What is an essay? An essay is a composition formed by a group of paragraphs about a single topic and a central main idea. It must have at least three paragraphs. However, in this subject, we are going to work with the four or five paragraph model, the four or five paragraph essay, depending on the type of essay you are going to write. Which are the parts of an essay? Today we are going to deal just with the introduction. The introduction is the first paragraph of your essay. The main body includes the two or three supporting paragraphs and the conclusion is the last paragraph of your essay. As I told you before, we are going to work with the introduction in this first presentation. It is the first paragraph of your essay. It explains the topic with general ideas except for the thesis statement and contains different elements, that is to say, different kinds of sentences. Which are the elements of an introduction? The opening statement, the narrowing topic sentence or sentences, the hook, the leading sentence, and the thesis statement. Let's start with the opening statement. The opening statement, it is not a question, so try not to start your essay with a question, please. It sets the tone for your overall essay, and you can use a generalization about the topic or the title of the essay you have to write, or a definition. And it must be creative since it is the first sentence of your essay, and obviously it must attract the reader's attention. Let's start with an example of the opening statement. Uh, this is the saddest day of my life. Sadness is an emotional pain associated with feelings of disadvantage, loss and discouragement. So it is an overall definition of sadness. So as you can see, it is not a question and it defines the title. The narrowing topic sentence. So. It helps the writer not to be too general. A narrowing topic sentence is one sentence or more, but let's try to use only one sentence. And it narrows the topic because, as you can see, the title of this type of sentence is narrowing topic sentence. It narrows the topic or the title of your essay. Let's see an example of this narrative essay, The Saddest Day of My Life. Sadness is an emotional pain associated with feelings of disadvantage, loss and discouragement. That was the opening statement. Then, moving from a traumatic situation means a long process which is sometimes almost impossible to overcome. So, sadness and then you move to traumatic situation. You are narrowing the topic. So. The narrowing topic sentence narrows the topic, in this case, sadness. Let's deal with hooks. What is a hook? A hook is a sentence or a group of sentences that draw people into reading your essay, research or research paper. A hook sparks a person's curiosity. So, a hook can be a group of sentences or, or only one sentence. Generally, when we deal with a group of sentences, a hook may include the whole paragraph, the whole introductory paragraph. So let's see the different types of hook. We've got the question hook, the refutation hook, the final hook, the dramatic hook, it can also be called anecdote hook, and the quotation hook. start with the question hook. Almost nothing can attract interest better than a well-constructed question. Be sure to avoid simple questions and try to pose questions that ask reader 
or your reader to consider the other side or engage in some critical thinking. Limit your hook to only one question. This is very important. There are two important uh, facts that you must consider when using question hook. First, only limit to one question and then do not ask simple question. So try to forget about yes no questions as simple hooks. Uh, analyzing the question hook example, the saddest day of my life. Sadness is an emotional pain associated with feelings of disadvantage, loss, and discouragement. Moving from a traumatic situation means a long process, which is sometimes almost impossible to overcome. Why is it so difficult to forget dreadful experiences in our lives? It is a complex question to answer, which is hard to handle even for specialists. As you can see, we have the opening statement, the narrowing topic sentence, and then the question hook. It is only one question, and you can also use this technique as to provide a background answer to your question. So, in this case, it includes, it includes sorry, this answer, a complex question to answer, which is hard to handle, uh, which is hard to handle even for specialists. So, if you want, you can include the answer for uh, or an idea, not a specific answer or a, an idea of the question hook. Refutation hook. In this kind of hook, summarize other people's point of view or opinion in the thesis. However, state your point of view. This type of hook is generally used in argumentative writing. So in a thesis, however, state your point of view. So you write what other people think previously to the thesis, and in the thesis you write your opinion, which usually, or well, which must contrast other people's point of view. Let's see an example of a refutation hook. The opinion essay title is death penalty should be legal. Although many people believe that the legalization of death penalty would definitely reduce crime rate, I strongly believe that capital punishment should not be legal since it may terminate the lives of innocent people and it will create a feeling of resentment against the state. So as you can see in blue, you've got other people's point of view and then in red you've got the thesis which is the opposite uh, of what you state previously. So this is an example of a refutation hook generally used in argumentative writing as in this case opinion essay. The final hook. This type of hook is generally the whole introductory paragraph. It goes from the general to the specific. The most common characteristics of a funnel hook or a funnel like introductions are it begins with a broad general statement about the topic, that is to say the opening statement, then the narrowing topic sentence because it follows narrower, more specific statements about the topic as the leading sentence as well. And the final sentence of the introductory paragraph using this hook is the thesis statement including the map points if you are not writing an, uh, a narrative essay. This is a hook as you can see it goes from the general to the specific hook attention getter the narrowing topic and the thesis statement. Let's analyze an example of a funnel hook. My academic life in Lenguas Vivas. It is, an, um, it is a narrative essay. It is obvious that university life is really hard. Students who attend college have to deal among others with the pressure of time and exams. Being a student at Lenguas Vivas has been by no means any easier or different. 
However, I must say that despite the stress and hard work that implies studying at such a renowned and highly demanding teacher training college, my experience in Lenguas Vivas has been memorable. So, it goes, it, you go from the general, university life, college, Lenguas Vivas, and in the thesis, this student, because this essay was written by a student, uh, writes about the experience in Lenguas Vivas. As you can say, it goes from the university life to the experience in Lenguas Vivas. Dramatic or anecdote hook. This kind of hook is generally used in narrative essay. It must be developed in the introductory paragraph. In this hook, you describe a scene, tell a story, or an anecdote. Okay? Deal with an example. It follows the same characteristic of a final hook, that is to say, it is the whole paragraph. A decision for my professional life. It is the title of this narrative essay. Most people get to a point in which a decision they have to make may, uh, may change their lives forever. These at the spur of the moment decisions are taken without considering the effects or results they may bring about. In my particular case, one of the crucial decisions I made when being an adolescent paved the way for professional success in my career. Had it not been for that decisive moment in my life, I would have never become a teacher of English. Well, this student wrote about a narrative essay and the dramatic hook. As you can see, it is the whole paragraph and this student uh, includes a whole anecdote or story about the professional life. Finally, the quotation hook. Well, you know what a quote is. It is when you quote an expert. It is used to give more credibility to your paper. However, you should be very careful. It must be written with inverted commas and with the exact words of the original quotations. Example. Revenge is self-destructive. Opinion essay. Revenge is an act of extra-legal retribution by individual or a group against someone else or another group for a perceived wrong or injustice. However, it may bring about detrimental consequences in our lives. Those who plot the destruction of others often perish in the attempt, Thomas More wrote once. It is clear then that revenge is a bitter experience because it creates resentment and self-destruction on the people who take it. So, as you can see, you've got the quotation hook and then the thesis statement between inverted commas and the exact words uh, Thomas More quote once. Continuing with the introduction, let's deal with the leading sentence. A leading sentence foreshadows what the writer is going to include in the thesis statement. It allows the paragraph to flow slowly from one sentence to the other. An example, opinion essay. Euthanasia should be legal. Death is one of the most fearful thoughts in life. Beyond the fact that everybody knows they are going to die, some people claim that death should not cause pain and misery. The only way to avoid suffering in case of a terminal disease is through euthanasia, which is a medical assisted death. So in this case, you are narrowing the topic. Which is not sadness, sorry, it is euthanasia. You are narrowing the topic, but at the same time, you are introducing the thesis statement with that sentence in red because obviously you start to know that the opinion of the writer is in favor of uh, euthanasia. Finally, the thesis statement. 
we are just going to give you the definition because the thesis statement is going to in be included in a whole new presentation. So the thesis statement is the most important sentence of your essay. It tells the main idea of the whole essay. It can be compared to the topic sentence in a paragraph because it fulfills the same function. It is usually the last sentence of your introductory paragraph. So, as I told you before, this is just the definition because we are going to uh, talk about thesis statement in a whole new presentation. 